Good morning. Welcome to Daily Bread's Morning Devotion. As we meditate on the Word of God today, we turn to the devotion that the Wisconsin Synod sends out, which is based on John 11, verse 17, which reads, On his arrival, Jesus found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Our devotion today is entitled, A Glorious Plan. Wait, did you really read that correctly? Jesus was late. His friend Lazarus was sick. Jesus is the Son of God who heals the sick. But when he heard that his friend that he loved was ill, he waited around for two days. And then when he finally went to see him, Lazarus had been dead and buried for four days. Why did Jesus let Lazarus die? The obvious answer is that he had a plan. Yet, that seems like the kind of trite cliché that we share when we don't know what else to say. You've probably heard it. Whenever life takes a turn for the worse, people are likely to say that God has a plan. It's true that he does, but often we can't see God's plan. Can you imagine the frustration of Martha and her sister Mary as they waited for Jesus and watched their brother die? Perhaps you can because you know what it's like to experience pain and wait for God. When life is awful, God's plan does not always make sense. The cancer that won't go into remission, the spouse who dies slowly, the loved one who's, who you bury, it all makes you ask, Jesus, I know you can help. Where are you? He is exactly where he needs to be. He always is. In the case of Lazarus, Jesus' plan was to glorify God by miraculously raising Lazarus from the dead. And for that to happen, Jesus had to allow Lazarus to die. Remember, Lazarus, the next time you are suffering and wonder why God is allowing it. Remember that he does love you and that he does have a plan. Remember that the one who had the power to raise Lazarus from the grave was the one who raises you out of whatever you are enduring. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, give me strength in my troubles and faith in your glorious plan. Amen. That's all for our morning devotion today. I ask the Lord's blessings upon each and every one of you upon your day. May you be productive and may you have a beautiful and wonderful day. And we look forward to Pastor Ernest's devotion this evening. God's blessings to you all.